Hello, hello, hello. Right, so uh, should be live. <laughs> it caught me by surprise. I pressed a button and it was instant. And I was like, what's going on? So I'm like, here again. Or something. I don't know what it looked like when it's uh, here. But I've, been, I've tried to make a video five times today. Uh, I tried to do a Facebook Live twice. Once my reception on my phone died. And the other time, uh, the, the audio wasn't working. And then I think it was either three or four attempts in the car to do a video. And there was just like people walking dogs and stuff at the side of me. And I'm like, ah. So it, it didn't happen. I thought, you know what? It's not meant to be. Not meant to make a video. Not meant to do a Facebook Live. But you know what? Stuff it. I'm doing a YouTube Live because YouTube have finally made it so you can just click one click live instead of having to use any broadcasting software or anything silly. So that's fantastic. Right. So in this live, it's going to be real, real, real quick because we're about to go to the cinema to watch Death Wish. Who is a rubbish. They're clearly paid. So, um, yeah. 3D Print Engineer says, hello, YouTube Live, different. Absolutely different. Uh, second one I've done, actually. I did do one more, but anyway, yeah. So this is my second one. But, yeah, um, so the reviewers, I swear, are getting paid now because, like, Star Wars, uh, The Last Jedi was absolutely god-awful. Terrible, terrible, terrible Star Wars film. It was an okay film film, but it was a terrible Star Wars film. It was an embarrassment to the franchise. A lot of Star Wars fans are like saying, we're never going to watch it again. And it's got something like 97% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's like, how can that be possible? Because the reviewers are getting brown bags. Big brown bags filled with money. Think about it, right? The film industry is huge. We're talking billion dollar huge. And... There's probably 100 people in the world that can make or break your film. If you can get those 100 people on your side, a.k.a. with a big bag of brown, a big brown bag filled with cash, then all you've got to do is influence 100 people and you've got to smash it film because they're all reviewing good. Well, I believe that's what's happening in the film industry. I think there's brown bags flying around left, right and centre filled with cash. And I think... You can't trust the reviewers. You can trust the real people that leave real reviews out there. So anyway, so we're going to go watch it. I don't know anything about it. Ollie says the reviews are a bit rubbish. We watched about 10 seconds of the uh, trailer and it looks all right. But that's not what this video is about, guys. This video is all about a question that was posted in the Secret World Project Facebook group today. And it said, I have shiny object syndrome. How do you all stay focused? Right, so shiny object syndrome is probably the number one disease, uh, syndrome, whatever you want to call it, affecting new, upcoming, and existing entrepreneurs or wannabe entrepreneurs or online entrepreneurs. It's probably the biggest thing out there that is kind of the thing that literally distracts everybody. Right, As I've said in a video before, you do not achieve anything by starting a project. You don't get anywhere by starting a project. You only get some bit somewhere by finishing a project. So if you start a project, you make zero money. You make money when you finish the project. And when I say finish the project, I mean get to the start line, really. So you start researching, maybe you buy some stuff, maybe you get a few bits and bobs in place. You move in past that start line. Sorry, you're moving to the start line. And then most people stop before they even get there, right? But that's not finishing the job. That's not even starting the job. They got this far and then they go do something else. But if you want results and you want success online or in business, any kind of business, then getting to the start line is not enough. And like I say, most people don't even get there because what happens is shiny object like a magpie, you go towards it because it sounds great. It, you know, oh, this is the latest and greatest thing. This is going to make you loads of money. And you've all seen it. This is that. This is that. At the end of the day, uh, there's, there's tons and tons of opportunities online and offline to build a business. Which you choose has a massive effect on whether you succeed online or whether you fail online. So the key is to choose something based on good, solid advice, research, maybe dabbling in it, whatever, but to choose something and stick with it. Don't be quitting before the finish line like most people do. You've got to get over the finish line and then keep going, right? So if you're finding yourself 
getting almost to the start line on one thing, then switching to another, and then switching to another, and switching to another, you're never going to get anywhere. You're never going to get anywhere. What you got to do is you got to get to the start line. That is not the end. Most people treat that like that's the end. Oh, I got a couple of sales or something. I'm done now. This this sounds great. Maybe I'll make thousands in this. So they go off and do that. Now, somebody posted a link saying um, a good an analogy of this this guy in this video. He spat a lot. But this, this analogy was uh, lots of broken bridges. It was quite a good video, to be fair to him. Um, but he was talking about people make building bridges. So they start at point A, move into B, and you kind of start building your bridge, start building your bridge, start building your bridge, and then this shiny object comes along and something distracts you, and then you go start doing that. You start building that bridge and building that bridge, and there's point A at the start of the bridge, and you're building it, building it, and then some other shiny object comes along, and then you move over to that, and, and all you've got is a ton of broken bridges rather than any one bridge. I apologize for not knowing the guy's name. I don't know if he's a relatively new YouTuber or whatever, but um, Broken Bridges is a nice analogy. So I thought I'd share that with you. And again, sorry, I don't know his name, so I can't tell you where I got that from. But but Broken Bridges, Broken Bridges, lots of broken bridges everywhere. Look, I've never made any money from starting something without finishing it, never. But I've always made tons of money when I've got laser focused and gone direct on one thing and stuck with it until it's established or... I've got significant evidence to know that that's not the thing I want to be or should be doing. So the key is laser focus. Don't build loads of broken bridges. Don't start a load of new stuff and not finish it. You only get paid for finishing stuff, not for starting stuff. So you've got to finish stuff. And if there was a compelling reason in the beginning for why you started that activity, when you started that business model, that compelling reason hasn't gone away. The compelling reason is still there unless you have a compelling reason that you found out later to prove that that's not the best way for you. Now, some everything's painted as a beautiful, pretty picture. And oftentimes it's not a pretty picture when you actually get going. You realize it's hard work. It's filled with like not dangers, but filled with things that can trip you up. And that's just the reality of the situation. That's something you've just got to accept. But again, if you just focus on one thing and one thing only, you're only allowed to do a second thing when you've mastered or outsourced the first thing. And by, when I say mastered, you don't have to become a Jedi. You've made some money. You've made more than your investment in, in time and effort and stuff back. And you've got to a point whereby you've gone, right, okay, I figured out I'm not going to make more than 10K, 20K, 50K a year at this. And I'm not interested in that 100K, million or whatever. Then, then, then you pivot and do something else. But you've got to get to that point. You've got to get to the start and you've got to keep pushing until you make money. And that's the key. Laser focus, laser focus. Realize that results are only driven by finishing stuff, not starting it. So I'm going to go to the comments. YouTube has not pushed that this out to a whole lot of people. We've got eight people watching. Love you guys, whoever you are. Um, happy to take a couple of questions before I head on out. Hopefully this is a useful video for somebody and you enjoyed it because obviously more people are going to watch this when YouTube does its ting and says, uh, this live is now a recorded video or whatever it does. So I've got one question. Agnieszka Kot, who is local to me, believe it or not. Hi, Matt. Just finished my workout. Now I have you as my deserved break. Oh, that's very nice of you to say. Matt is her break from her workout. Good on you. Good on you for going to the gym and ting. We're back into the gym. We've been pretty, pretty like consistent now for, I don't know, five, six weeks, maybe four weeks. I don't know. But we're back into it. It, really enjoying it again. Going to go tomorrow morning on it. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, without fail. Getting habitual. Uh, all great. Hey, Kev's here. Good to see you too, Kev. <laughs> Hands in the air time. But unfortunately, Kev, as is the case with these things, this is not a lot of people on here. YouTube needs to reward people that go live by pushing them out to more reach. But never mind. It is what it is. Uh, thanks for the thumbs up. If you've enjoyed this quick live, Please do give me a thumbs up, guys. Um, I've enjoyed doing it, even though I felt a little bit like I was doing a video. So I might as well have done a video. Um, and yeah, smash that thumbs up button if you would. Give me a like. Um, and yeah, oh, Lee's here. I need to pass the finish line. You do, Lee. You do. But you've got to get to the start line first. Hi, FBA UK. And hi, 3D print, print engineer. I think I might know who that is. I don't know. We'll see. Right. Anyway, um, 
<laughs> Pete says brown bagged brown bags flying around. I tell you right now, Pete, when you've been in the nightclub industry, you realise there's more brown bags flying around in places you would never expect. It's unreal. Not going to make any accusations or point any fingers, but yeah, there's, I, I, there's a lot more corruption. Not not just in the nightclub industry. I think the road building industry. Oh my God, brown bag money flying everywhere. Brown bags everywhere, filled with cash. Whether that's construction, building trade, uh, everyone, brown bag money. Anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys that have given me a little comment. Appreciate you guys that have watched. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you get to the start line and get to the finish line because the money's at the finish line, not the start line. Julie says, I didn't even realize this was live. It was, Julie, but I'm about to go. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, interesting stuff. And, yeah, I'm Matt. This has been The Secret Wealth Project. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> right, and...